Hello out there world, my name is Chris. I'm retired working for you and I'm super excited because today's all about Korean street food. This is the first video in our Korea series and I'm just exiting the subway and looking for what should be right there. And this is Korea's most famous street food market. This place is called Gwangjang Market and we're gonna go in there and we're gonna see what they have. Haley's gonna be in there and we're gonna walk you through all the delicious dishes that they have. So let, let's get in there, I'm hungry. We're inside the market now and this market was established back in 1905. So it has over a century worth of tradition and there's a lot of clothing shops. Haley and I are meandering our way through that area right now, but we're going to the area with the food. Oh, it looks like Haley's Whoa. found what we're looking for. Yeah, they're making Here's kimchi, the first food homemade area. kimchi. What is this, Haley? Oh, this is the place, Netflix, Kalmuksu Ajumma. So the very first place that we stumble upon is the very famous Korean Kalmuksu Ajumma from the Netflix series that you've probably seen. 항상 뭐몇 번이라도 포기하고 싶고 포기하고 싶었지만 제가 포기할 수 없는 이유가 단한 가지 있었어요. Haley, are we going to eat at this place? Um, it's a good place, but I heard that there is a better place in the market. And then, as you see, there are a lot of foreigners here because of Netflix uh, documentary. So I take you somewhere better. We got Haley, <laughs> the insider. We're going to find something new and share it with you guys. Let's go looking. All right. So yeah, this is the market made famous by Netflix. But as I said earlier, this place has centuries of tradition where a lot of these shops have been passed down from generation to generation. So this is one of those rare places that's both tourist friendly and still a super hot spot for the locals to enjoy. It's a can't miss when you come to Seoul. Um, I think I've found my first bite here. So this is the type of market where they're each place just has a few benches to sit. They have lovely ajumas. She's going to make us up the first dish right here. Let Haley tell you what we're eating. Pindetta. Oh, Toronto. Pindetta. Mung bean pancake. So that means delicious in Korean. And this is, the best way to think about this one is it's kind of like a hash brown. This is one of the staples here in this market, is this mung bean pancake. Oh, it's definitely hot. It's a little bit oily. We might not order this every time, but uh, we're starting off tonight with one of these. Okay, so we just ate there the binde tuck. Haley, the challenge is how long to find the next plate of food? Oh, uh, I don't think it will be that difficult. Let's okay. see. Haley's being tested. Look at all the yeah. options in here. We're looking for the food the made most good. famous by the K-dramas. Oh, look, Haley, yeah. she's already yeah. saddled yeah. right up. <laughs> you found it? Yeah. Look at that, look at that. that, that was real time. Without any editing whatsoever, real time. <laughs> we found this wonderful stall, they have... What's this, chaggy chapche? Yeah, oh, that's a chapche. That's a glass noodle with a vegetable. And it's is this jayuk bokum? Yeah. 
Is it? Jeukbokgum. What is it? Maybe not. What is it? Oh, that's a chicken feet. <laughs> chicken feet. Oh, yes, I can see the chicken feet right there. And then this one, some fish cakes. Yeah, fish cake soup. And this is a tteokbokki. It's a rice cake stir fried in gochujang sauce. Is this a popular food with Koreans or is it just oh, yeah. eaten in Korean dramas? Oh, no, it's the most popular food, I think, in Korea. Like, everybody loves it. Okay. This is my uh, childhood treat. I mean, it's really just a soft, glutinous rice cake, duck, and it's, it's made with um, the classic red chili sauce that you'll find in so much different Korean food. You can see that. Just a white rice cake on the inside. And uh, about the simplest dish there is, but this has taken Thailand by storm. It's everywhere. This and fried chicken. Thanks to the world of K-dramas. How much is it? 3,000 won. 3,000 won about two dollars and fifty cents or something like that and we're gonna move just around the corner in here from one classic korean dish to another very classic korean dish Ooh. oh yeah <laughs> so this is kimchi mandu what does that mean oh, oh, oh. Her, her kimchi mandu is tasty Forty-seven years. She's been selling this mandu forty-seven years. So this is a classic example of what this market represents. Forty-seven years. This lady's been working at this stall, hand rolling out the dough, cutting up the noodles, making these dumplings with love. So let's taste what decades worth of tradition delivers. So there is two kinds of mandu she offer. First is a kimchi mandu, my favorite. And second one is a gogi mandu, which means uh, the stuffing is meat with a tofu. So I'm gonna eat kimchi mandu. It might be a little bit hot. Mm. A lot of kimchi. Um, Spicy, I love it. I'm gonna try the meat one. And by the way, mandu is a Korean word for dumpling. So you can get fried mandu. These are boiled mandu. Mm. And just let me show you the inside. You have meat, you have some chives. You can dip it right here in this sauce, add a little bit of saltiness to it. No more sayo. Yes. Oh, 6, yeah. on that 6,000 Korean won. I'm still getting used to translating the currency into dollars for you, but I'll put it up down here. This is right across from the, uh, the Netflix, famous Netflix stand here. That's how close we got. We went for the 47 year veteran. <laughs> what you got? Cheers. Just before we find the next tasty treat, let me tell you how to get to this place. All right, so I'm just hopping off the Seoul Metro here. And before we get back to that delicious food, let me just uh, say three things about the Seoul Metro. First of all, they got 
no advertising, which makes it extremely clean. Secondly, the two little screens that they do have, I will say they show these kind of scenarios with people pulling masks on just a little bit too much for my liking. And third, the system here is absolutely massive. They have, I don't know how many lines, but you can get anywhere very efficiently. And to illustrate that, the exit that we're at now is called Ulchiro Forga. Ulchiro Saga. Sa means four in Korean. And you can get to the Kwanghang Market where we're eaten by exiting here or Chungno Five Ga. So the market sits between Chungno, which is a main street in Seoul, and Ulchiro, which is another main street. And the market's right in the middle there. Now, back to the next tasty dish. <laughs> 네, 미리 더 계산 먼저 해요? 네. 네. 5,000원 자기야. So this is called Mayak Kimbap. Kimbap looks like the maki in Japan. It's the Korean version of this. Mayak Kimbap. It's funny because Mayak is the Korean word for like narcotics, for drugs. So this sauce is important. The sauce, what is it? The 겨자, 식초. Oh, so that's kind of like uh, wasabi, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they say mayak because you cannot stop eating. It's so addictive. It's like crack. Yeah. All right. Mm. It's a, such a simple combination, actually. Nori, rice, couple of um, carrot, and the pickled radish. That's it. But it's so flavorful and very satisfying. A little dippy dip. I'll try a little bit of this narcotic version of kimbap myself. Oh yeah, as Haley said, super simple, but super addictive. How much, Chaggy? 5,000 baht? Yeah, 5,000 baht. Come on, somebody that. 5,000 won. So that's, that's like four bucks. I can see why it's addictive. And I figured it out. It's because it's all brushed in sesame oil and then dipped in sesame seeds. And that's what makes it addictive. Look, got a couple of crackheads right here. Come on, somebody that. I'm just going to go sell my TV in a back alley and I'll come back and buy more of your crack, Ajima. Thank you. What is Haley holding Korean over there? Korean blood sausage. What is it? Korean blood sausage. Sunde? Sunde. So let me tell you, as Haley walks down there, this was the food that she was addicted to when she was pregnant with Anna 19 years ago. I was out in the night in Toronto buying blood sausage for pregnant Haley, and we'll get her to tell you just a little bit more about it. So Chaggy, what is sundae? Korean sausage, basically. It has in the um, sticky rice with the seasoned and everything, and then pig blood. It's hers. She, th that's all she does. She sells sundae, and she, oh. she brings this much, and then after it's sold out, and she's done for the day. And how long has she been doing it for? 얼마나 하셨어요? Yeah, 40 years. Low fist bump. 46 mm. years? Mm. Wow, amazing. Sticky rice and all kinds of seasoning and pork blood. What are you dipping it in? It's a salt and gochugaru, gesogum. And how does and it taste? Delicious, savory, salty, and nutritious. A lot of protein. 46 years, good mm -hmm. job. You've heard of the Bermuda Triangle? We've entered what I'm going to call the Dessert Triangle. It's right here behind me. Haley is stepping up here to the first cart. We'll get to what she's ordering in a minute. But if you look over here to the second point in Dessert Triangle, you're going to see a massive lineup. This is lined up all day, every day. And strangely enough, they're lining up for donuts. See? Making, they're almost like big churros. And uh, the third corner is right here. This is called hoduk. Hoduk hana, hana? Hana. Yes. I love these. These are uh, a sweet Korean pancake with kind of a sugar syrup inside. 안녕하세요. 
Oh. Oh my. Hmm? Chano bacon. Chano bacon. That's about a dollar twenty-five, and this is gonna burn me if I eat it. It's a chewy, soft, crispy on the outside, very chewy on the inside. Mmm. I'm filled with syrup, and just one of my favorite sweet treats. It's called ho duck. And hey, Lee, what do you have? I got susu kukumi. Kukumi. It's like a pancake, but. Uh, fold in half, there is a red bean paste inside. Um, my grandmother always make it for me when I was a little girl. And this is uh, really a lot of work to make it. It's very, you know, detail oriented, tedious. Job. It doesn't look that, you know, luxurious or anything, but it's a lot of work. But she always, always make it for me. Oh, this so, is Haley, little yeah. Haley, getting Think some good. Think about my grandma. Well, I'm pretty full, Haley. How about you? I'm stuck. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the food tour at Guangzhou Market. And I we interrupt your ending for a brand new ending. We've met some friends here. Come back. Cheers. We're drinking makgeolli, which is a Korean rice wine, but more on that in a bit. We're going to enjoy a little vacation time with some friends. See you in the next video, everyone. Thank you.